Howdy, I'm Matthew Rios. I'm a senior BIM student at Texas A&M. And I'll be attending uh, A&M's pharmacy school in next the fall of 2019. Um, I became interested in pharmacy probably through OCHEM. Um, I know I, like, I found a lot of the drug interactions and how it interacts with our body to be really interesting and that's what kind of like uh, pulled me towards uh, pharmacy and I've always been interested in like the math and science aspect of it and just other stuff like how you see your family you know you see like your family or friends like taking medication and you know you wish you could like uh, you wish you knew more about them you know maybe you could give them like advice or you know stuff like that um, specifically I want to do my interest is in uh, oncology pharmacy and I've always been really interested in oncology medicine too um, so I think it would be I've always wanted to work with uh, oncology patients and like um, I've always wanted to work with them work at just taking you know working with oncology patients and working with pharmacy and putting it together into uh, into what I would be most comfortable in. I prepared for, the way I prepared for pharmacy school was definitely a lot of studying. Um, let's see. There was a lot of, um, there was a lot of studying for like making sure my grades, making sure I had, um, all these different requirements, making sure I had uh, my grades were in check, making sure I was studying for the entrance exam, um, getting a lot of outside, uh, the most important part, getting a lot of shadowing in, making sure you know, that's what I wanted to do, working in different, uh, shadowing in different aspects, because you know, there's retail, there's, um, there's hospital pharmacy, there's different specialties, so you know, I wanted to make sure wherever I um, ended up was, you know, that's what exactly what I wanted to do. So going back to the studying, um, some, some of the effective ways that I managed my time and I studied was I found I was most efficient, you know, this didn't always happen, but I was most, most efficient when I went to bed early and, you know, like I got up, I, um, I did my did my studying throughout the day and you know didn't stress myself out by like studying at night or anything like that and I'd say the best way is to probably make um, make us like a weekly calendar a weekly schedule maybe like on Sun start on Sunday and plan out your week or if you know you're not too sure because you're like um, well, you don't know what can happen throughout the week. So what I usually do is in the mornings, I'll start, I'll make a schedule of that day and say, okay, I want to do this and this by two o'clock and this and this by six o'clock and kind of like break up your day. I'd say is probably the best, what works best for me. Balancing extracurriculars is, uh, is something that's all, like also important and it's also an important skill. Um, in college, uh, it ties into managing your time and um, setting priorities to what what you what you want to focus on, and um, so for me, I know like I I like hanging out with my friends a lot, but I also liked my GPA a lot so you know you kind of have to find there's a fine balance between uh, work and play and it's all about finding that that balance between um, you know your outside stuff and your school stuff and that probably looks different for everybody depending on what you prioritize first and second and third and etc advice that I would give for high school or college. Uh, 
I would I would definitely say since something that I didn't have in high school was a good uh, um, didn't have a lot of preparation for college but so I something that I definitely say for high school is uh, to to mentally prepare yourself for college and pick up good study habits early because that'll it's definitely easier to start off strong than it is to start off weak and then try to pick yourself back up that's something I learned the hard way I want to say but I mean in my case it ended up turning out okay for me but you know um definitely something or definitely definitely something to uh pick up early and um as far as experiences i'd say to uh definitely don't be afraid to step outside your comfort zone and um you know if if something like if an organization or something like that seems engaging to you then you know go join that organization go find out what you like go find out what you don't like um at the end of the day just do whatever makes you happy is probably the best advice that i'd give because um college is important but you don't want to waste like some of the you don't want to waste some of the best years of your life by always constantly working and burn yourself out.